Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Dave. And in this Magento Basics tutorial, you're going to learn how to add or remove attributes in the Compare feature. Magento out of the box comes with a Compare feature. However, only the most basic of attributes are shown by default in the pop-up window when you compare products in Magento. So in this tutorial, you're going to learn how to add or remove attributes to the Compare feature in your Magento system. And with that said, we're going to jump across to our Magento system and we'll see you there in a few moments time. So Dave, we've been to come across to our Magento front end and I've been and clicked on the add to compare feature for two products. And we can see these compare products in the right hand side. So let's go and add a third. So let's click on add to compare and we can now see that we've got three products in our comparison list on the right hand side. When we click on the compare button, a pop-up window will appear. If I just make this a little bit bigger, you'll see that we can compare the description, the short description, the skew, and the color. Now, to be honest, the description, if again, I'm thinking about the businesses which we've been and worked with, which use Magento, their descriptions are never that short. So what we're actually gonna do in this tutorial we're going to show you how to disable the description field from being appearing in the compare products option. And we're also going to show you how to add in an additional attribute to appear in this pop up. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just move that off onto a different screen and we'll come back to that in a moment. So if you jump into your Magento administration area and then go to catalog attributes and then manage attributes, now the first attribute which we need to find is the description. Now I can see it down in the list down here, but you might not have it on this first page. So where it says attribute label, if you type in description, or in this case I'm typing in DESC, and then I'm gonna press return on my keyboard, then you'll see that we've got the descriptions which have appeared. And of course you could press search on the right hand side, and don't forget you can press the reset filter to reset the search. If you then click into description, scroll down, and this setting is hiding down at the bottom of the page. So can you see where it says comparable on front end? If you change that from yes to no, and then press save attribute, that will now remove it from the compare feature. Now Dave, I also mentioned that I wanted to add another attribute to that pop-up window as well, which was called occasion. So where we got the attribute label, change that from description. So I'm going to type in OCAS and then press search and hopefully we'll find occasion. Nope, if I spot that wrong. Double C perhaps? Yes, double C, there we go. And then of course you would search for the attribute which you want to add to your compare products window. Then click into that attribute, scroll down, and this is the complete reverse. So we're going to scroll down, and in this case, where it says comparable on front end, change that from no to yes, and then press save attribute. And it's easy as that, Dave. Oh, before we go and look, remember you can press the reset filter to reset the search. So let me bring that window back on my screen, and you'll see that before we had description, short description, skew, and color. If we now reload that page or press the reload button, can you see that we now got short description, skew, color, and we've got the new attribute called occasion in there. So we got casual, casual, and then no, and no's been unappeared because that attribute hasn't been populated for that product. Also, description's missing from here too as well, isn't it, Dave? Yeah, so that's, we removed description and added in occasion. Yeah, as straightforward as that. And of course, you can add as many or as little attributes to this page as you see fit. So with that said, from myself, Matt. And from me, Dave. Cheerios. So from myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We hope that you found this video tutorial helpful. If you have, then let us know by leaving a thumbs up on this video below or subscribing to our YouTube channel. We believe to use Magento, you don't need a degree in Nerd, and we've created you over 300 step-by-step -step video tutorials at understandinge.com to help you. 
In these tutorials, you'll learn how to use Magento with no prior knowledge. How to build a fully responsive Magento website for just $99, which is about 65 quid. How you can use Magento to sell on eBay and Amazon with M2E Pro. And you'll be joined by over 6,000 fellow business owners just like you. And the best part is, it's free to join. So for myself, Matt, and me, Dave, we'll see you there. Cheerios.